What's up amigos? Welcome to the Ink Builder. My name is Antonio and this will be part 3 of my very first CMYK print. So stay tuned. Alright now for the CMYK print I'm going to do, I'm at the Maestro shop because I don't have the squeegees nor the ink to do this kind of print. So that's why I'm here. And I decided this is a perfect moment to do a rookie. Me just starting now versus him, someone who's done this for years, just to compare my print with his print. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I already separated my image, I printed the films, I exposed my screens. Now, my screens didn't come out perfect, but I'm still going to use it. And I'm going to print that right now with the help by him. He's going to help me register. And after that, he's going to do his own version where he separated his own colors on Corel. He's going to print his own films and he's going to expose them on the same screens that I did, but he's just going to retain them. So let's get started with mine first. So on this print, the first three colors, the yellow, the cyan, and the black, they're under press. And for magenta, I'm going to do it by him holding the screen because unfortunately, when we were registering the magenta, it's too, how do you say it? It needs to make an adjustment to make it more back, but we can't because it's already all the way into press. So that's why we have to hold it. Okay, so here's my first attempt at doing a CYK print. As you can tell, it didn't come out perfect because the screens that I exposed didn't come out correctly, but it's close enough. Here's the first one I did. And since he was holding the screen and I did too much pressure on it, I ended up moving the screen. That's why the, it came off. And here's another one where we did again. But this time, he, he's the one that pushed it. And you can tell it looks more, how do you say it, darker, brighter. I'm pretty happy with this for being my first CYK print. 
I mean, I just gotta know that I gotta do work harder on the screens. Alright, so we're flashing the shirt just to make the print look look a little bit better. Okay, here's another print that I did. This one I did on a new shirt. And I did more passes and since we used the flash, it came out a little bit better. Um, this is off because like I mentioned, uh, he had to hold the screen for the magenta because it wouldn't, we couldn't uh, do the adjustment. So that's why it's a little bit off. But yes, this is my print. My first NYK print. And I kind of burned the shirt <laughs> when I was carrying it. Oh yeah. Now, now it's going to be his turn to do his own version of his print. <laughs> Screens are reclaimed and now it's gonna let them dry so they could coat them and expose the screens with the films that he that he separated using Corral. Alright now many of you guys who might be watching but I've been screen painting for years and I've been looking at this guy and thinking to yourself he's doing it way different than most people think that should be done and when I first started when I first met him I thought the same thing because throughout the years I've been watching YouTube videos on how to screen print all the steps to do it and when I met this guy I was like oh he's doing totally different that's not how you do it but then I saw a video from Caspin where he mentioned that there is no right or wrong way to do it. I mean, the only important thing is at the end, if the shirt comes out perfect, then you didn't do anything wrong. And I'll leave a link into that video so you can better understand what I'm talking about. Here's the magenta. My magenta versus his magenta. His yellow versus my yellow. Here's his black. And my black. As you can tell, a big difference. I mean, it has more detail than mine. Mine doesn't even have anything.
All right, now he was having problems exposing his face with the sun, so he turned to his uh, exposure unit, exposure unit that he made himself. And then. Now I'm thinking of building my own exposure unit similar to this one right here. But instead I'm thinking of using UV LED lines so I can make the time you give to exposure screen a little bit faster because I heard UV is the way to go because some of you guys only do a few seconds with it. And that's what I'm gonna to try to do. What color is this, eh, Negro? No way. It's in black. Black. <laughs> <laughs> You can see his screen, look at that. It's gonna be yellow, eyeballing it too. It's a little bit A lot more detail than mine. Okay. Más detalles que el mío. Bye, you guys. Here's his print. And then? As you can see, he has more details. Alright guys, well here's mine, and here's his, I can see he got more detail, especially on the clock, there's actually the shadow. Alright guys, I'm going to do a, a print using his screens. All right, guys. This is my print using his screens. Not bad. All right, amigos. Well, that's all for today's video. Now, I really enjoyed the experience for doing my first NYK print. Also, because I was doing it next to this guy, so I could compare my little first print to his son who's been doing it for years. So it was a good experiment. Good experience, I mean. Now make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, and like my Facebook page. In the meantime, I'm out.